let's cover something called the control center. That's more from the management, the timeline and planning. But SAP project manage, management is much more than that, where you have your cadence coming into picture, your projects, your scope coming into picture, your project KPIs, your communication management, where uh, you, you could be planning your steering committee meetings. So you can have them all loaded up here in terms of frequencies and your project cadence, your escalation matrix, so that uh, the onboarding of a uh, new consultant uh, into a project is much easier. So they just know what happens when and uh, uh, whatever the, when does a startup call usually happen and when does a steering committee happens and when does a weekly review happen, et cetera. And risk registers, so these are something which uh, the, the platform also has by innate, where you can have your uh, risk registers in terms of creating. Maybe I'll just go to control center and show you how it actually looks like. So in here, I can add a risk item. I can choose a category of what the risk is, and I can say status, and I can give an impact level and probability to it. And uh, I can also say what strategy I do I take as a project manager for this particular risk item. So that is something which you can maintain as part of your risk. And maybe uh, on a long run, you could import it as part of your project issues because a risk ultimately turns into an issue if it is not mitigated. So the platform allows you to maintain different risk items as part of your uh, entire thing. And then we have uh, the control center where uh, based on the users who you invited, the control center will take care of uh, rolling up and, and generating the project organization. So this might look uh, quite simple, but I'll show you something where uh, it is more complex and it, it cuts across like different, four main different process uh, groups or business units. This is about uh, the control center, the project planning, the task management, et cetera. 